So Provilium Brothers is back today at Flamingo Valley with our fourth unit for sale and we're going to show you a three-bedroom dual-key unit. Let's kickstart the home tour. This foyer area has two main doors and then this is actually the entrance into the studio itself. So if you're renting it out, then this is where you come home. There's two separate entrances. So before we bring you around the home, let me just share with you a little fact about Flamingo Valley itself. So this project is a freehold development. It was completed in just 2014. That puts it at about just five years old. The thing I really love about Flamingo Valley is its sprawling land size. So it's about 335,000 square feet but you only have 393 units. So for the dual key 3 beta units, you only get them in stack numbers 31, 36, 76 and 82. The only stack with a level 5 is at stack 46 and that is where we are right now. So within a 500 meter radius from Flamingo Valley, the only one freehold development is right beside us at Park East. Now, Park East was completed in 1994, which makes it about 25 odd years old right now. And transactions are in the 1,000 to the 1,300 per square feet region. And Flamingo Valley was completed in 2014, which puts us at about five years old. The unit we have is asking at about 1.8 odd million. So that puts us at about 1,500 odd per square feet. So that makes it the newest freehold development in this Siglap area itself. This specific unit that we're going to show you today, all right, let me just bring up the floor plan. So this is a 1206 three bedroom dual key, which means you can actually live on one side while you rent out the other. It's a little different in a sense because although this is a dual key, but the owners are living here, so they've taken down a certain wall to just enlarge the whole entire living space. So this is actually the living room of the home right behind me. It's actually very wide span, right? So you have a whole dedicated like, TV area over here, as well as over at the back, you have your dining area. The owners are living here and they've converted it into their TV viewing area. So a TV feature wall, very nicely done up. There's this zigzag kind of a wavy design that's been done up by the ID. So it's an interplay of between like laminate as well as some glass treatment, right? So very beautifully done up. And right below, you also have a very efficient use of space. So the whole bottom console is done up with shelving internally but you have glass on the front so you can actually control your remote for the TV as well as for your media players right from the comfort of your sofa. As you can see the span is also very wide. You still have a great viewing distance even after putting in your sofa area. There's this bay window that's been done up. Uh, you can actually use this like a sitting area as well. You can throw down some cushions. So let's go into the bedroom area. This is actually used as a study. There's actually a foldable study desk that you can see and simply pull out from the bay window area. The room space is wide enough actually to fit in a queen size bed. And on the left, you also have your sliding panel wardrobes. They've done up even the lightings in your cupboards. Your bedroom tiles are all marble throughout. Even in the living areas, you'll see that. All right, so let's head into the bathroom. You have this dark tone type of a marble towel that's been done up in the bathroom area. So very nice condition. There's a good shower space. All right, so coming over on my left, you see that there is a dedicated kitchenette space that's for the studio area itself. Cabinetry space on the top and bottom as well. So there's a sink, good wash area here. You can do some chopping of the vegetables. And if you're wondering where is the stove, it's actually right below this laminate. So the owners have covered it because they have another the kitchen area in the main unit so we can show you that later but not to worry your two burners are still over here now let's go take a look at the two bedroom part of the apartment itself this area behind me you see has been dedicated as a dining area by our owners but if you're going to put back the wall right here then this is the space that will be converted to become your TV console area. So right in the corner over here, you have your TV point. This becomes essentially your living room area itself. All right, so let's head into the balcony space. Let's check this place out. So the balcony is great size. You can put in actually two outdoor chairs with a small table as well. And you can install zip tracks right here, which allows you to extend your living area while still retaining the air conditioning in the space. All right, let's head back and check out the kitchen space of this unit. They have done up and wrapped around this whole column right here and done up extra storage cabinets. Internally, they've done up drawers that you can pull out. So right below the cabinet space, right in the middle here, there's actually a hidden dining table which you can pull out and it opens up to fit up to four or even five people. 
All right, so coming over on the left, you have your main kitchen area. You have your microwave oven that's inbuilt as well. Lots of storage space, a fridge area that's dedicated right in the corner over here. So something I like about this kitchen is you notice there's actually two ventilation windows that allow you to dispel all your cooking smells or fumes when you're actually cooking at home right here. All right, so now let's go show you the bedrooms of the two bedroom unit. So this space is the entrance into the both of your bedrooms right here. And the owners have actually have done up this enclosable door, right? So that allows you to actually segregate your whole bedroom area if you like a bit more extra privacy, right? Now let's head to the master bedroom. There's a queen size bed that has been placed in. There's still enough walking space on both the left and right. You can put in a side table for your bed as well. And the owners have done up this cushion for the bay window. So of course you can use this as extra space when you come home to place your bags or if you're doing some reading at night, you can also do that here. In the master, you have this little corner which you can ideally place in maybe a small dressing table or even a small work desk if you like as well. Right. So wardrobe space, fantastic. Two whole panels of sliding door. The lights are all done up. Heading into the bar, bathroom it is all marble tiled so this color scheme of the bathroom is a bit different from the studio side because this one has the lighter color tone and it's all very good condition it has extra storage space as well in your mirror right on both sides so the enough space for you to put all your toiletries and your daily necessities yeah, so let's go ahead into the other common bedroom here. Now this space, our owners are actually using it as a work desk study area. So you see that he has put in a very good size work table and there are actually cabinets that have been done up on top, some shelving. Now not to worry, the wardrobes are still right at this corner over here. So you have two whole panels. So again, all the wardrobe spaces are done up with the lighting inbuilt. So in the bay window space, like what my owners have done. So sometimes after a hard days of work, he just wants to relax. He actually put in like a tatami type of sitting area so you can also do this if you like. So I think it's good to have this kind of a setup in your home for you to rest and also to work at the same time. So I think that's great. Now, let me just share with you a little bit more about location as well as its facilities. So Flamingo Valley is just five minutes drive to East Coast Park, 10 minutes to Changi Airport and 15 minutes and you'll get to the city area. The development is just seven minutes bus ride away to Bedok MRT Station, 12 minutes bus ride to Kemangan MRT Station. There's also an upcoming Sigla MRT which will be completed in 20 2023 so that is just about 15 minutes away nearby malls like the Badok Mall, Badok Point and Kemangan Plaza. So if you have school going children there is Opera Estate Primary School and St. Stephen's School which is within the one kilometer radius from Flamingo Valley. Now Flamingo Valley is a full facilities condo so you have things like a 50 meters lab pool, fitness area like the gymnasium, the majestic sky bridge that towers at over 11 meters high. Alright, so just a quick recap on this place. This is a three bedroom dual key unit. It's 1206 square feet. And if you're planning to have an investment plus an own stay type of a setup, or you just want to take this whole space to be used for your own family, then I think this place is perfect for you. All right, so if you want to take a look at this place, give my listing manager Kenneth Tan a call. I'm Mark from Property Lim Brothers and I'm always happy to show you the place. Alright, so if you like this home tour, click like, subscribe or leave a comment down below and we'll be happy to show the place.